beautiful south side, Muncie, Indiana. On today's show, we are going to be talking about how to make crock pot spaghetti. The uh, reason we are making crock pot spaghetti today is because later this afternoon, we're going to have a birthday party for Gavin, and that's a dish that he likes. Um, it's a pretty simple dish. We'll go over all the details. We make this in a crock pot. Very tasty, very simple. Almost nothing to show, really, because you kind of just throw all the ingredients in, but I will still go over all the details. Um, and I am in my car, which would normally mean that I'm heading to the store to get ingredients. And like I said before, I do go to the store every day. Uh, however, today I am on my way to the dry cleaners. I'm heading over to the dry cleaners to drop off Nate's uniform and a suit jacket for his band performance and uh, dropping it off the dry cleaner so that it's nice and pressed and uh, clean and looks as nice as possible. So anyways, let me do that real quick, get back home, get in the kitchen and get the crock pot spaghetti going. All right, here we are at the cleaners, going to drop off Nate's stuff and then head back home. All right, back from dropping off the dry cleaning and ready to get down to business on doing some cooking. For this recipe, there is very little to actually do, but I'm gonna go ahead and record what I do. Um, ingredients, first of all, going to be using two cans of Hunt's pasta sauce, and it's very important to get garlic and herb and to get this brand. Uh, we've tried others and it doesn't turn out quite as good. Everything else brand is optional, but you gotta get the Hunt's. All right. We also are going to be using some crushed pepper today. We are going to be using one pound of spaghetti, so one box of spaghetti. Going to use one bag of shredded Parmesan cheese and a pound of hamburger. So what we're going to do is we're going to brown up the hamburger in the skillet and then we're going to toss it all in the crock pot for two and a half hours and then when it's done we'll stir it up so that's all there is to it so let's go ahead and get started on the stove all right for tools today we are only going to be using just a very few uh, we're going to be using a nice big skillet one we've certainly used before on many occasions my favorite one and we are going to use spatula to ground up the meat I'm going to use a knife to open the package. I'm going to use can opener. That is it. All right, ready to go. We're going to go ahead and open up the hamburger. Like that. And we are going to take the hamburger, throw it in my preheated skillet, so it's going to start sizzling right away. There we go. And we use our spatula, start grounding that up. And we just need to have it all ground up and brown. And we will be ready to go. All right, I have went ahead and moved all the ingredients over to the crock pot. I'm gonna put them in the crock pot and the order is important. So what we're going to do, start out with can of pasta sauce. Okay, I'm gonna open that up. And if I can get the lid out without making too big of a mess. Uh oh. There we go. Okay. Set that there. Set it right there. And we dump the entire can in there like that. Alright. Set that down. 
All right, so after we've done that, we're going to open up our spaghetti. So right here, we take our nice box of great value spaghetti. We will open that up, one pound box, and you can use any brand of spaghetti, so that's okay. I do recommend regular and not angel hair, though. Okay, so take out as much as we can hold, like that. And what you want to do is break that in half right over the crock pot, so like that. Then, take each half and just sort of lay it on top of the spaghetti, like that. Okay? Then, the rest of the spaghetti, or as close to the rest of it as we can. Take that, break it in half. Whoops, made a little mess. Put that same thing right there on top. And then this last little bit here. Take that. Put that on top. Okay, so there we go, we got that all set up real nice. Now we're going to take our meat and we're going to put that right on top of the spaghetti, just like that. So there's that. Okay, now that we have that in there, we're going to take our Parmesan cheese. We're going to put the whole package in there. We're going to put it on top of the meat. So we get like that. Something like that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now take our crushed red peppers. And we'll open that up. One moment while I open it up. All right, much better. Now it's opened up. Okay, so we take our crushed red peppers, nice big handful of those, sprinkle those right on top like that. Maybe just a few extra. I'm gonna put a lot of those in there. There we go, like that. And then the last actual ingredient that we want to put in there. I'm gonna put my cap back on my red pepper. Yep. Then the last thing is to take another can of pasta sauce and put that on top. Okay, we'll pour that right on top. All right, that is it. We'll put the lid on. I'll show you the front of my crock pot on how we have it set up. Okay, on my crock pot, we have three settings, low, high, and warm. What we want to do is put this on high for two and a half hours. And then after the two and a half hours is up, we will raise the lid, stir it all up real good, and it will be ready to eat. All right, we are two and a half hours in. The crock pot spaghetti is almost ready. There's only one step left to do. Take the lid off, we take our spatula, and we kind of start grinding it up like this. Breaking up all the pieces of spaghetti like that. And getting it all mixed in together. And this is boiling hot, so you want to be very careful and try not to burn your fingers doing this, which I'm trying not to do right now. But sometimes I'm not that successful on my cooking shows. So anyways, get it all blended up like that. Really get it stirred up good. There we go. And that is a big delicious pot of crock pot spaghetti. Mm -mm. Ready to eat. All right, so that's a quick video on how to make crock pot spaghetti. Um, the one thing that you'll want to do when you serve this is serve it with some nice, uh, you know, jalapenos on the side, maybe some pepperoncini uh, and some garlic bread, and maybe even a nice side salad. But anyways, that's the basic dish. It's all set to go. Can't wait to go eat it.